everyone in this video we will solve gate 2022 me set one question number 11 this question is from engineering mathematics from the topic limits and the question is the limit p uh, limit x tending to pi this expression has a finite value for a real alpha then the value of alpha and the corresponding limit p are now let's see what theory we need to know in order to solve this so we need to know what are the indeterminate forms and so there are typically seven types of indeterminate forms which are given in this box and for two of these forms namely the zero by zero form and the infinity by infinity form we can apply something called as the L'Hopital's rule in order to simplify the limits so going to the L'Hopital's rule this simply states that if you have a function f of x such that limit x tending to 0 f of x is equal to limit x tending to 0 g of x is equal to 0 and also the derivative of g with respect to x that is the g prime of x exists and g prime of x is not equal to 0 then this limit the limit x tending to 0 f of x over g of x is equal to simply the limit x tending to 0 f prime of x over g prime of x so when you have a 0 by 0 or infinity by infinity form the limit of f of x over g of x turns to the limit of f prime of x over g prime of x now if you know this let's see how we can solve this question so we have been given p which is limit x tending to pi this expression x square plus alpha x plus 2 pi square over x minus pi plus 2 sine x now if we substitute x is equal to pi we will see that the denominator becomes 0 so let's say f of x is x square plus alpha x plus 2 pi square and g of x is the denominator which is x minus pi plus 2 sin x so f at pi becomes pi square plus alpha pi plus 2 pi square whereas g at pi is pi minus pi plus 2 sin pi so g at pi is equal to 0 whereas f at pi is equal to 3 pi square plus alpha pi now in order to have a finite value of p the numerator also has to be 0 thus f of pi should be equal to 0 this implies that 3 pi square plus alpha pi has to be equal to 0 and from here we can easily find that alpha simply becomes minus 3 pi now once we know alpha we move on to finding the limit or the value of p which will now be equal to limit x tending to pi x square plus minus 3 pi x here i have substituted alpha to be minus 3 pi plus 2 pi square divided by x minus pi plus 2 sin x now applying the L'Hopital's rule we can say that this becomes uh, just differentiating numerator as well as denominator 
to be two x minus three pi over one plus two cos x with limit x tending to pi. Now we can substitute the limit and then we'll find that p is equal to 2 pi minus 3 pi over 1 plus 2 cos of pi. Now cos of pi is equal to minus 1. So this just becomes minus pi over 1 minus 2 which is minus 1 and the final answer is pi. So p is equal to pi so p is equal to pi and alpha is equal to minus 3 pi so option a is correct we solve this question and the correct option is a and in order to know more about uh, limits you can refer to this nptl course of basic calculus 1 and 2 by professor prasar mohanty of iit kanpur